can't get on me. I might jump on the stage with a stick on me. Every corner back with me, got a pick on him. Every Glock in it big, got a dick on it. How you watching my live, won't click on it. I'm a butt on the roll and no tick on it. They ain't tell you about rule, I got a kick on me. I just pray that my dog don't switch on me. What's happening with y'all Reset TV? It's your boy Gravitating Way. Now, I hate to do this, man. I hate to go in like this, but before we do, real quick, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Had to start all my videos over again to get monetized, which I did. Shout out to YouTube. But I deleted countless videos, about a, at least 100, that had hundreds of thousands of views. Just, you know starting over i gotta break into the algorithm get y'all noticing these videos so it can be accessible to everybody else but today's subject man corey Ray, get over here for a second i know you got some nerve and i i get it adrian Bronner has been the butt of all jokes which he has implemented himself in the forefront of that but check this out and we'll come back for the commentary Dead ass, get the fuck on, okay? Go on the fuck it, okay? I'm not interested. Like that's fucking corny. The fuck are we doing here? I'm going. I'm getting the fuck off. Go look at my post. I'm about to post my cover. Bye, y'all. Now, Adrian Bronner, you should understand at your age, your level of fame however dwindling it is i mean it's fading brother but you know you can't erase history adrian Bronner was a champion fought at the highest levels because of self-imploding activities he's not at the stage that he should be right lost a couple of fights was not in shape but adrian was feeling himself got in shape and he shot his shot at core loray of all people he did this publicly on her live. I don't know if he had past situations, which I do. He did of DMing people and then them coming out publicly. So you can honestly say Adrian was being genuine. Whatever the motives was, he came at her publicly. Leave it to Corey LeRae, Miss Skinny Mini herself, the one that was herself the butt of all jokes. I remember even feeling bad for her after that double xl freestyle she had that freshman class and you know the rap was bad but what people were paying attention to was making memes out of her stick figure shape now me personally i'm not one of these people that get on a woman's body i think corla ray is gorgeous just being honest but you would think she was humbled by that situation and not wanting to come across these other so-called Instagram models, these 304s out here in the social media algorithm, trying to gain clout and all that. But, of course, and who did she choose to do this antic with, coming on live and shaming someone, is with Adrian Bronner. See, Adrian, you're the easiest person to attack and not feel vitriol. Shout out to the comment section. You know the internet's undefeated. They let Corleray have it. To my surprise, I thought everybody would be trying to shame Adrian Bronner, but you know, he didn't really make any weirdo vibes. He got an upcoming fight. He invited Corleray, said he'll pay for it. This is this wasn't one of those fly-ins into my hotel, none of that stuff. And he made it publicly so there can be transparency. Corleray had to be the one trying to get i don't know what it is that she tried to get but she tried to be funny yes corey you tried to but you ended up reminding people of why you're the joke low key see the minute you try to blend in and shame somebody that comes at you genuinely you're the joke but listen adrian man i wish you really didn't make that mistake and most of you younger guys and men in general please don't make that mistake i get it you know you're trying to you know be decent genuine but these women don't receive that well you know whether they viewed it as something you know nice or significant she wanted social media clout the same social media that destroyed her image and she claims don't support her music yet in turn you do the same thing that you preach against corleray isn't it funny how that works out but, you know, anytime you become the pot calling the kettle black, you deserve that L. So, Corla Ray, you need a reset for your mindset thinking that you're the it girl that can come off of shaming somebody. End of the day, Adrian Bronner, 
No matter how you feel about him, he has gained his notoriety, Corla Ray, through his actual hard work, not through being daddy's girl. You know, end of the day, let's not pretend a hit many years ago that is sustaining your career right now, also being the daughter of Benzino. Yes, Benzino. At one point in time, Benzino was at the peak of hip hop. That's what you benefited from, Corla Ray. At least Adrian Bronner has achieved many more accolades in his career if we was to correlate it with you. No pun intended. What say y'all in the comment section? Let me meet y'all there. This was, this was Reset TV, y'all. And I hope y'all tapping in. Don't forget to subscribe. Help us break this algorithm. We're going to be doing more lives. Like I said, my main target is to hit 10,000 subscribers. Nonetheless, whether we hit it or not, I'm in the mood to go live on issues like this. Just women feeling like they're at a pedal stool and they could shame you. But Corey Ray, I hate to admit it. You are the least person that I would ever allow to publicly shame me. But then again, I wouldn't really pander to any of you broads on this social media world. But that's just me. I'ma holla at y'all.